Hello, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're going to talk about Power BI. And one topic that I've been working around lately is how to filter a table or whatever visual you have on your uh, report by entering many values. So we know how you can filter by using a slicer and selecting then one value or maybe holding down control and then selecting multiple values. But what if you want to enter like, I don't know, five, 10, 20 values at once and then filter based on them. There is a pretty cool visual that we need to download from the visual store that allows us to do exactly that. So stick around to learn more about it. And if you like the video, may please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and that you follow the channel to not miss any future videos. Have fun. Okay, so as you can see, we are now back in our uh, Power BI report. We have here a report that I've downloaded from Microsoft. This is a demo sales and return sample, just to have some data. And what I've done is also I copied one of their visualizations, this bar chart here, in a new page so that we can concentrate into this data. Okay, so this data just shows us a list of products, Power BI, PowerPoint, Teams, SharePoint, and so on, and some revenue values here, which are not important for today. And what I've done is I've created a, a simple slicer, as you can see here, and placed the same column, which is also in this table, which is the product column. We can see here on the right hand side, we have in the product table, the product column. So how we filter with this slicer is we either select one of the values. Now we can also activate the multiple selection to be um, automatically available and so on and so forth. Or we can just hold down control and then select multiple values. So here we can delete the uh, selection and then have all our values back. But uh, also we can activate here in the ellipsis the search function. For example, we can search here for flow and it will show us flow. But what happens if I want to search for flow, Power BI and um, other products, as you can see uh, from the left hand side. But as you can see, it's not showing anything because it, the input that it's expecting needs to match to one product. So if I have like a list of multiple products that I want to paste in there to be able to search for them or filter based on them, I cannot do it here. So how we can do that is by using a third party um, visualization called mass filter. And to download it, we need to go first to get more visuals see on the ellipsis under our visualizations and click get more visuals. So after this has loaded, we can search here after mass filter. And this is here, as you can see, as I said, a third party uh, developed uh, visual, but it is Power BI certified because it has that blue um, batch. So after clicking it, it will load the visualization, some of uh, the descriptions that you can take a look at and when it was last updated and so on. So it's pretty up to date actually. And then by clicking add, it will add it into your list of visualizations. I've already done that, so I'm not clicking add again. So I have it already here. Um, there it is, massive mass filter. And to be able to have it in your list of standard visuals, you can right click on that uh, newly added visualization and say pin to visualizations pane. So this will add it uh, into your standard ones here and then you will always have it there. So how it works, um, just click it and then it will add it on your report as uh, with the rest of the visualizations. And what it's expecting is one category filter and it's just one field, right? So what we're going to use is of course the same field that we use also on our slicer, which is a product column from the product table. So let's grab that product column and drag and drop it. You can either drag and drop it into the visual or into the field here, it's the same. And as you can see now it's uh, showing like a hint text what, which shows what it's expecting. Huh? You can enter the values in like this where you can where you separate them with a comma and or you can just enter them one below each other. I will do the second huh? because I find it a bit easier but first I need to extract this data here huh? so that I have it in an Excel format so that I can copy it easier. And how I've done it is by going to the table view, going to the uh, table that you need, finding the column that you need, which is the products column. And then after marking the column, you can right click it and say copy. Now this will extract the values. Keep in mind to also extract the headers or the, um, this product here. 
And if you don't want to have it in your search list, then just delete it again. So that's something I've done here. And by pasting, it will pop up here. So why I did this is because it's easier now to select a couple of values, say Control C, and then I have a list of products that I want to filter by. So let's minimize this and go back to the report and let's test the standard um, slicer. So again, if I paste it in here, this will show no results because as I said, it's expecting that the value that you enter there to match at least at, uh, with one uh, product. So let's get that, uh, remove that. And then now in our new slicer or new filter, if you paste it in here, we will see that it's placing it one below each other, which is one of the two uh, input methods that it's expecting. And then we see here at the bottom, at the bottom right corner, uh, I hope you can see it, it's maybe a bit larger, um, three buttons. So the first one is to clear the filter, so it will remove everything. No? So let's paste that back there. And the second one next to it is the update filter. So this will activate the filter and then actually do the filtering on your data. The one above it is to switch between include matches or, let me hover again, exclude matches. So it will either search for the values that you enter to be included in your table or to be excluded from your table. Um, keep in mind that, that when you switch that, it will remove the filter, uh, the data that you entered. I don't know why it does that because um, I actually want to test, with the same, to test it with the same data, but anyways. So let's test the exclude matches. So we have here access, we have Excel, Exchange, uh, OneNote and Outlook. OneNote and Outlook was below it. So if I click Update Filter, you will see that access, Excel, Exchange and so on, so these values here have been excluded. We cannot find them anymore into our table. And if you hover with your mouse over your um, a table or your other visualizations in this filter icon, you will see the filters and slices that, that are affecting this visual. And one of them is our product um, column, which is then filtered by saying it's not access, Excel, Exchange, one or the Outlook. So the values that we entered here. So we see that now we are showing everything except of this list of values. If we switch to uh, to include them, then you will see that this time did not uh, remove the values. Okay, fascinating. Anyways, but what you can see now is that we are including, so the filter is, is access, Excel, exchange and so on. We're including these values and we are showing only them. So now we can see that we have a list of um, the values that we just entered here. And I think this is a pretty helpful visual and um, I hope that it will help you as well in by when building your reports. I know it does not look the fanciest, uh, but uh, yeah, so it's all about functionality. So let me know if you have any use case where you will need to use this. And uh, also let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And I hope you liked it. I think it's a pretty helpful visual. I will use it definitely in the future. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye.